Hello, I'm going to show you today how to edit. My name is Phil from gotmemories.com and we are going to be using Adobe Premiere Elements. Now, uh, you could be using any type of program. I'm just highlighting here how easy it is to import and edit and output, uh, export to uh, online or DVD or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and do a screen capture here so you can see exactly what I'm doing on the screen to show you how easy it is to do. Let's have a look here. So I have all the options here, the project starter. Now, uh, you can import from a variety of different uh, things here, but uh, applying two transfers, uh, whether you've got a DVD, you can import from a DVD, but I'm gonna import a file and it's a video of me. Let's have a look here. This is from 1981. This is my own home movie footage. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how easy it is to import. So I've got a couple of files here. I'm going to drag this down into what is called the timeline. So I have this right here and you can see in the preview window right here and that is me uh, and I was about five years old. So what you have here, you have the blue and the green. The green is your audio and the blue is your video. So you can scrub along and see all of your footage very quickly. So if you're, uh, you've got all your different videotapes and you are looking at, uh, you know, fast forwarding and rewinding with the old tapes and stuff, once it's digital, import it and you can scrub along very quickly. Now, I'm gonna just show you a few simple steps on how to cut out boring footage, uh, rearrange footage that is maybe out of sequence and export it uh, to media or online. So we're starting off right here. Now if I play, you can see it going. Now what I'm going to do is quickly cut, just showing you at no specific point here, but there's a pair of scissors right here, split clip, and all of a sudden now this one has become two. So I just do this and I clear and then I can close the gap manually or do it. It'll ask me if I want to do it, but here we go. Now I've done that. Now let's say if there's my sister, Claire, and I'm clipping this in half. So now I've got two and I can move one in front of the other. So now she's at the beginning and I'm at the end and see there's some dead spot here. So this is what I do when I'm editing. You find some of these portions here. Say you've got some dead spots uh, or boring footage. You can go hit the scissors. And there we go. Back in the scene again. So this middle area is completely useless dead space. And we're going to just delete and close gap. Boom. And there it is. It's completely gone now. And there we go. If you wanted to remove the audio, you can, uh, let's have a look here, unload, uh, there we go, I can unlink it and delete audio. Uh, you can bring it back always by doing control Z or control uh, Z as in England. Um, and there we go, it's pretty straightforward stuff. Now over in the corner here, you have all the different video tracks you can have. You've got a narration one down here. Now you can actually add narration by uh, recording off of the uh, microphone on your computer. So you can do that and also you can add uh, soundtracks like music, literally, I mean, you just go to Get Media and you'll just find the music either off your CD or off your hard drive and just import it in there and then you have audio. Okay, so now I've covered a very brief overview of importing, cutting clips, removing boring footage, and flipping clips around. I'm gonna go into how to export your finished video. So, we've got over here a share button, and you can click share, and you've got all these different options here. You can create another file, you can export to phones or players such as iPads and iPhones and that kind of thing. Um, or you can upload it to sharing sites such as YouTube, Vimeo, or even Facebook using the program. All you gotta do is put your username and password in and select 
upload and it is that easy. Um, so uh, there's, we've got the options right here. See, like upload to Facebook or upload to YouTube uh, and the different presets. I mean, everything is covered within this program here. And again, this is the same with iMovie or any other program you're looking at doing these days. Um, and then also if you wanted to make a disc, uh, you know, you can do that as well. Reburning a DVD is an option also. So what I'm gonna do is export the file to my desktop. So I'm gonna click on share and I am gonna go back here to the different list and let's have a look here. We're gonna go computer and give it a second. And you've got different uh, options here and I'm just gonna click MPEG uh, playback for a computer or uh, burn into a DVD. And then you've got the drop down options here of what file type. So we've got the options here uh, to a DVD. I mean, look at all of this. You've got everything right here. Um, and we're not talking big files here. So uh, I'm just gonna do uh, 720 and you basically name it. And then edited video from 1981. And then you select where you want it to go. And you're just gonna click movies and there we go. And you click save and you are good to go. So that ends this video tutorial intro. We do have other videos such as adding narration and photos and music as well. So tune in for those. Thanks very much for watching.